وَأَلِهِ وَأَصْحَابِهِ وَأَزْوَاجِهِ أَجْمَعِينَ أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقتتم من لساني يفقه قولي ربي زدني علما أجمعين إن شاء الله مئة الأسبان وطلع انكريز على فس نالج السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Nice to see you, brothers and sisters. Yesterday we did uh, inna. I hope you understood. Keep in mind about the kinds of khabar. Remember, it is very important. We will be soon doing laisa, and I'll explain you a little bit in detail again. You know, normally, most of the time we just translate. You know, but I really feel that. You are all very strong, and I'll go in detail with analysis. And I am quite confident that you will understand, because having understood Wafta Da Khabar very well will make other things very easy for you, my sister. Now, I gave you the paper yesterday, and this is also something that. Is not supposed to be done, but I want to do it. You know, because uh, with the inna something else comes in the Quran, and now you will try to read inna and something else will come. And I really want you to enjoy it. I want you to enjoy it. Okay, and uh, that's the reason I'm going to introduce that to you, brothers and sisters. I give you a few simple examples. You will be able to figure out what's going on.
اللہ غفور رحیم برن سسٹرس وٹ از اللہ بہت ویر از دا خبر غفور خبر نمبر ون اینڈ دس ول بی خبر نمبر ٹو وین اٹ کمس ٹو اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ اٹس خبر نمبر ون خبر نمبر ٹو ناؤ آئی ایم رائٹنگ ہیئر What did I write? Rabbu ka gafurun rahim. How many words in Rabbu ka? Two. What are they, brothers and sisters? Mudaf, mudaf ilahi. So where is our mubtada? Rabbu, wa huwa mudaf. Ka mudaf ilahi. Where is our khabar? Gafur. And then rahim, khabar number two. What did I write? La Gaf, La Rabbuka, La Rabbuka, Gafurun Rahim. What is this La, brothers and sisters? In Arabic language, there are beautiful methods of putting emphasis, hmm? putting emphasis, which, truly speaking, you cannot translate. You got to understand. And it's uh, in the language itself, okay? So this la is called lamu ibtida. What is it called? Lamu ibtida. I got you in the sheet, sir, brother. Hmm? Lamu ibtida. I think it's ibtida. Yes. It is called Lamu Ibtida E. Mudaf, Mudaf Ilahi. Mudaf and Mudaf Ilahi. Lam of beginning. When Lam of beginning is used, it emphasizes the whole sentence. It emphasizes the whole sentence. Puts an emphasis. La Rabbuka. See, if you say Rabbuka, Gafuru Rahim, now you say La Rabbuka, there's an emphasis on it. Okay, so this is, when the Lam comes in the beginning, it's called Lamul Ibtidai. Are you with me? Lam of the beginning. Okay, now, Inna is walking, and Inna comes, and looks at this, La Rabbuka Gafur Rahim. So she says, Who are you? La Lam, who are you? Why are you standing in front of Rabbuka? Una is asking, What are you doing here? What's your job? You came in the front. So Lam says, I emphasize, I emphasize the whole sentence. That's my job. He said, you emphasize the whole sentence? I don't see anything there. Nothing changed. Huh? Rabbuka, la Rabbuka, what kind of emphasis is this? Huh? Get lost. Look at me. When I come in the front, what happens to the sentence? So then Lam is pushed. You know, we push, we push. And then Lam slips. Okay? Like a person slipping on a banana peel, uh, he slips. Uh, because Inna is coming to show Lam what kind of a job Inna does. So brothers and sisters, we get 
in no in says look at me as soon as i came in the sentence in front i proved my point that i am emphasizing and it says in rabbaka huh okay see what i did now the lamb you know because he was in the front he was taken out from the front and now you are pushed he said i will still be part of the sentence you know inna you want to come in the front no problem i'll go and stand somewhere else and i will still give emphasis so it became what happened in rabbaka lagafurun rahim and brother look at it can you translate this no the sweetness the eloquence is in the language itself that is why it is so important for us to learn the language of the quran and like this there are hundreds of examples of various kinds in the quran where you simply cannot translate huh? so what happened brother in rabbaka now if i have something to bang my hand you know how the speakers bang their hands so if i were to emphasize i'll say in rabbaka la ghafurur rahim twice i'll make my point you know to to give importance to the sentence are you with me so now the lamb was pushed can we call it lamb of ibtida no no we cannot come because it's not in the beginning then it is called lamb muzhalak what is it called what will you say lamb muzhalak this is a four letter verb huh? and we are going to study in book 3 what is the root of it brother zahalaka huh? what is the meaning of zahalaka he slipped he slipped okay brothers and sisters so it is called lam muzalak because it slipped from its first place and then wherever he found his the place in the middle of the sentence he stood up there when i was studying you know uh, in jordan brothers and sisters uh, i had my teacher and he was very very uh, humorous sometimes we'll make little jokes here and there and you know we live in canada we see snow all the time they have never seen snow they have seen only pictures they see people skating on snow okay so my teacher asked me do you skate i said no i don't skate but my children do skate you know i'm too old he said so call this lamb a skating lamb what is it skating lamb it will be easy for you to remember this sometimes muzhalak doesn't come in the very beginning later on you will master it but then i always tell the students that this is a skating lamb it was in the front when inna came it skated to the middle of the sentence so the the technical word is alamul muzhalak huh and otherwise in short for our simplicity we can say it's a skating lamb you know now brothers and sisters this lamb muzhalak can come after inna anywhere in the sentence and i have given you lots of examples so look at it where it comes huh? the most beautiful example that i can see brothers and sisters is here see innal insana what is after that lafi what is this la this is another emphasis 
Huh? Can you imagine? We can read and we never understand. This is such an emphasis. Allah subhanahu wa is saying, you know, Inna insana lafi khusrin. That everybody, every human being is in khasara, is at loss. Inna huh? insana lafi khusrin. Are you with me? And this will come in the Quran. Huh? In, in various forms. What is it? Innaka laminal mursalim. Ya seen. Well, Quran al Hakim. Inshallah, we'll analyze this. Innaka, see? Truly, O Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But that is not enough, truly. Again, the law has to come to emphasize it more. You cannot translate, brothers. Innaka laminal mursaleen. So, brothers and sisters, I give these two examples to you. Okay? And how will you analyze it? Inna harfu tawkid wa nasbin. Ha, brother? Insan, ismu inna, mansub, lam, lamu muzahalik. Lit tawkid, for emphasizing. Lamu muzahalik, lit tawkid. And then what will be free question? Jar majroor, shibu jumla, khabar, inna. Okay. Here again. Inna ka, inna, harfu tawkid wa naspin ka, ismu inna, mansubun. And then la, lamu muzhalik, lit tawkid. And the minal mursaleen, jar majroor, shibu jumla, khabar. So you know mursaleen, it comes from Mur Salun. Are you with me? Mur Salun. Make it Jama Muzakar Salim. Mur Saluna. Now make it Mansub and Majroor. Mur Salina. Mur Salina. So when it came min, it changed from Mur Saluna to Mur Salina. You got the idea, brother and sister? Inshallah, uh, this page will help you. And later on, as we progress, I will be selecting verses from this page and we'll try to analyze it. You can do it on your own. There are beautiful verses from Quran. Uh, inshallah, it will make it very interesting reading for you. Inshallah. Now, <clears throat> We come to our main lesson now. Huh? We left it at uh, exercise 11, hmm? page number 10. Now, brothers and sisters, here is a noun here. Galin. What is it, brother? Galin. Huh? From the looks of it, it is majroor. Isn't it majroor? There are two, two kasras there. Are you with me? Tanween, kasra. So kasra is a sign of majroor. Huh? Kasra is a sign of majroor. From the looks of it, it's majroor. But it is not majroor. It is marfu. Now, I would love to show you the details, but I think the time is not right. This thing we study in detail in book three, how certain nouns uh, take this form, that they end up with two kasras. Uh, the other example is, Qadin. What is it? Qadin. The other example is, Wadin. 
And that example is Fialun Ma Din. Not Fialun Ma Dun. Fialun Ma Din. Are you with me? Again, two kasras. Huh? And then there is Muhammad. Mu Ha Min. Are you with me? Because Dr. Sahib has not given in as details, so I'm not going to go in details in this particular case. But when you will come to book three, we will study it, and it's very interesting. Now, Ghalin, it's Marfu, brothers. Remember, it is Marfu. Huh? But when you make it Mu'annas, then something you see like this. Where did this ya come from? Because it is there. Dalin is actually Galiyun. Kadin is actually Kadiyun. And Wadin is actually Wadiyun. And Madin is actually Madiyun. And then Muhammad. Muhammadiyun, okay, but when there's a ya there, and before it if there's a kasra, the ya is dropped. Okay, ya is dropped, and it gets one extra compensatory kasra. Don't worry about it because I, I don't want to go in detail. Brothers and sisters, we will understand more when we do the verbs. So it is written like this, Galin, which is actually Galiyun, but we write it like Galin. Huh? When you make it oneness, then, then Ya becomes visible to you. Are you with me? Now it became visible to you. Okay? So Kadin, make it oneness, female Kadi, Kadi Yatun. Huh? Okay? Fine. Muhammi yatun. Okay. So these are the things that will happen when you make it oneness. This is enough for now. Huh? This is enough for now, brother. Inshallah. Huh? Later on, we will go in detail, brother. So if you have to use ghalin as marfu, then it will be without ya. And if you have to make it into oneness, then the ya will come out. Huh? When it is marfu, the ya does not come out. It's, it, you see like galin. Are you with me? Inshallah, this explanation is enough. Huh? So we say, Hazal kalamu galin. Asluhu galiyun. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Hazal kalamu, haza mubtada al kalamu badal. Where is our khabar? Galin. One word. It has to be marfu. Galin is not majroor, but it is marfu. Huh? Do you see? Galin, it's marfu. This pen is expensive. Huh? Galiyun, change into galin. I beg your pardon? <laughs> That's why I didn't want to explain. Okay? I, I didn't want to explain because it will uh, it will put a lot of stress on us. Huh? Dr. Abdurim has no choice but to use the word Galin opposite Rahis. Now, I explained to you, Sister Mahmuna, that when you have a noun like this, Raliyun, okay, look at the construction. What is before Ya? What is before Ya? Kasra. Is it before Kasra? Before Ya, is it Kasra? Yeah. When before Ya is a Kasra, Tanwin and Kasra, then we, we cancel the Ya. Okay? And now because there is a Tanwin there, 
we compensate this by giving extra kasher. Are you so? So Ghaliyun became Ghalin. Eh? Where this extra kasra came, it is compensation for cancelling the ya. Now, you know, at this stage, you will find it difficult to digest. So I didn't want to go in detail. So that's why I say Ghalin is actually Ghaliyun, but you never write Ghaliyun. You will always write Ghalin. If I say Hadar Rajulu, in English I say this man is a judge. So how will I say in Arabic? Hadar Rajulu, Qadin. What will I say? Qadin. This man is a lawyer. He's an attorney. What will he say? Hadar Rajulu, Muhammad. But actually it is Muhammadun. And there are many more things happening. Like, you know, Dun Dan Din. And then what happens when it is Mansu? It's, it's too much detail now. Uh, it's not necessary to go in detail. Huh? Just understand Galin is Marfu here. Huh? It's Marfu here. Fine, brother and sister. So, Hadihi Sa'atu. Hadihi Mubtada Sa'atu Badat. Now we need a khabar and it has to be mournness. So it became Galiyatun. Why Galiyatun now? Because you add Tamar Buta, the Ya became visible. The Ya became visible now. Huh? So if I say, Hadihil Maratu Qadiyatun, this lady is a judge. Hadihil Maratu Qadiyatun. Hadihil Maratu Muhamiyatun. As soon as I put Tamar Buta, the Ya became visible. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay, otherwise, Sister Mamuna, its Galin is Marfu, because originally it is Galiyun, but you don't write Galiyun. Okay? Fine. Now we have to check our uh, Tamreen. Number one, Sister Arifa. Al Qutubul Arbiyatu. What did you say? Ghaliyatun. Why did you say Ghaliyatun? It is Qutub. Kullu Jama Muannas. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Kullu Jama Muannas. So we are treating Qutub as a Muannas. And that is why Al Qutubul Arbiyatu. Ghaliyatun. Fi Baladina. In our country. Fi Baladina. Three words, brothers. Remember? MashaAllah. Sister Mehmuna, هذا الكتاب رخيص وذاك غالن you'll say. So ذاك مبتدا and غالن is your خبر مرفو. MashaAllah. Sister uh, Nasreen, هذا المعجم بمئاتي ريالن. This dictionary is for hundred rials. Huwa Galin. Because it is Huwa, it will become Gali. Had it been here, then we would have said Galiyatun. Got the idea? Alhamdulillah. Okay. Hada Mubtada al Muajam Badal B Harfjar Miyati Isam Majru wa huwa mudaf Rialin. Mudafilehi. B Miyati Jar Majru Shibu Jumala Khabar. Sister Mainat, Hazihi Al Hakibatu Ghaliyatun. Because now it is Mohannas. Hazihi Mubtada Al Hakibatu Badal. And then our Khabar Ghaliyatun. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. It's clear. Okay, brothers and sisters. Now we come to number 12. Ikra. Ikra al-misalaini. Thum makra jumla al-atiyata. Baad zalik. Uktubha ma kitabati. Aadadi. Waridati fiha bil-huruf. 
Now you see, you have to write down in letters. Huh? The numbers, you have to write, write down in letters. Let us first try to understand. We haven't done from 11 to 99 yet, which we'll be doing very soon. Okay. We have done from 1 to 2. In that case, the number is coming always as a naat. Huh? And then from 3, 3 to 10, there is a relationship of mudaf, mudaf ilahi. And the number comes as a mudaf, and the thing counted, al madud comes as a mudaf ilahi. But it is always in jama. Huh? But then starting from 100, huh? also the relationship is mudaf, mudaf ilahi. But now mudaf ilahi is singular. What is it, brother? Singular. That's all we have to remember. Okay? So, hundred men, what will you say? Miyatu rajulin. Hundred women. Miyatu again, mudah mudafili. It cannot be miyatun. Has to be miyatu, miyatul marati. Maratin. Miyatu maratin. Sahi, brothers and sisters? And then, thousand men. Alfu rajulin. Huh? Not rijal. No. No, only three to ten. Okay? And then, thousand women. Alful maratin. Alful maratin. Hmm? Brother, now we have to do it in writing. Nusrat. Hazal telfazu bi alfi riyalin. What will you say, sisters? B, uh, you write like this, B, Alfi, Ria, Lin. It's easy. Got the idea? You saw thousand there. Thousand real will be Alfu, Ria, Lin. Now comes B, it will become B, Alfi, Ria, Lin. Khalas. How many words are there? B, Alfi, Ria, Lin. Three. Uh, B, Harfjar. Uh, Alfi isam majrur wa huwa mudaf and then riyalin mudaf ilihi. Okay. Sister Sumaya, next one. In the alfu dolarin, mashallah. Huh? In the alfu dolarin. Huh? Okay. Not alfun, no? because it is mudaf. Okay. So, you are a rich lady, Sumaya. You got thousand huh? dollars. Okay. Hindi, so what is Hindi, brothers and sisters? Hinda is zarf, shibu jumla khawar. And ya mutakalim is mudaf ilahi. So, where is our muftada? Alfu, wa huwa mudaf, and riyalin mudaf ilahi. Correct? Are you with me, Sister Sumaya? You got it? Inshallah. Fatima? Fi hazal kitabi. What is it? Miyatu safatin. Miyatu. Miyatu. Got the idea? Miyatu Safatin. Why it is Miyatu? Because there is no harf jar in front of it. Huh? There is no harf, nothing in front of it. So, how will you now analyze it? Fi Hazal Kitabi. Fi Harf jar. What is Haza? Isam Majru. Okay? Okay. And then, what is Al Kitabi? Badal. Huh? I cannot say mudaf mudaf ilahi. You know, it's badal. Fine, badal. Fi haza jar majrur shibu jumla khabar. Now, where is our muftada? Miyatu. Wa huwa mudaf. And then safatin mudaf ilahi. Got the idea? Now, sister Naima. Become hadhil hakibatu. How much is this handbag for? Answer is hiya. B, Miati, B came, 
it became miyati riyale. What, how will you write down? B miyati riya lin. Tell me, brothers and sisters, how many words are there? Three. B, archar, miyati, isam majroor, wa mudaf, mudafili. Huh? Inshallah. Got the idea, sister Naima? Sister Suhaina? Fi hadhihil kulliyati. Now, see, if you understand fi hadhihil kulliyati, and, okay. Uh, one, one second, sister Suhaina. Okay, brothers and sisters, I, I, keep your pencils always handy. I will try to point out to you the separation of Muqtada Khabar so that those who are not very strong will find it easy. Huh? Starting from number one, Adal Tilfazu, put a line. So that means you are separating your Muqtada and Khabar. Huh? In the put a line. Got the idea? Fi Hazal Kitabi, put a line. Just one line. Like this, you know. Okay, separate them. In order to understand it well. Huh? Here, put a line. Got the idea? Sister Hafza, are you understanding me? Sister Abir, inshallah. Fi hadihil kuliyati, put a line. This will make your job easy, inshallah. Okay, Sister Suhena. Fi, what is fi? Mashallah, mashallah. May Allah bless you and all of us, inshallah. So, fi hadihil kulyati. Fi, sister Sukhaina. Uh huh. Is a majroor? Badal. See, drop put a line. So, tell me the khabar. Fi hadihi. No. No, no, no. Fi hadihi. Jar Majru Shibu Jumla Khabar. Yes. Now we put a line, now we come to the Muqtada. Miyato is Muqtada. Wahua Mudaf. Talibin Mudaf Ilehi. And Min Pakistan Jar Majru. Then again Wow came. Ataf. Now this Miyato can be Matufun ala other Miyato. Are you with me? Wahua Mudaf. And Talibin. Mudafilehi bin Indonesia. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Kavin. Jumalan. Kavin Jumalan. Mustamilan. Al Kalimatil Ati. Kalimatil Atiata. Kalimatil Atiata. Okay, brothers and sisters, make simple sentence. Life is very complicated. Don't make it more complicated. Make simple sentence. Zakiyun. How will you make a sentence? Zakiyun. Uh, Sister Abir. Yes, the student is. Uh, you can even say, Ana Zakiyatun. I'm smart. A talibu. A talibu. The student is clever. Uh, so she used a talibu. You know, Muftada. Uh, if, if she had said talibun zakiyun, then it would have been just. Not manut. It would not have been a sentence. You can say, Muhammadun, now it is definite. Muhammadun, Talibun, Zakiyun. Now Zakiyun came as a naat. Muhammad is an intelligent student. Fine. Sister Hafsa? Uh -huh. B. When you say price, you use B. Hazal Kitabu, B. Miyati. Riyalin. Hazal kitabu bi miyati riyalin. Brother Muhammad? Mutazawwijun. Mutazawwijun. Haza waladun mutazawwijun. Haza waladun mutazawwijun. Translate, brother. This son is married. This, no, you see, this is a Married boy. Okay. If you say, this boy is married, then you would have said, Hazal waladu mutazawijan. Or you can say, Hazal rajalu, better. Hazal rajalu mutazawijan. Even 
more simpler will be anamataza vision. What is the meaning? I'm married. <laughs> okay. Anna, but as a vision. Okay, fine. Brother Hassan? Yeah. Okay. Good, brother. You, you made a try. <laughs> but as I said, life is very complicated. Don't make it more complicated. Just say, Muhammadun uh, Azabun. Uh, Muhammad is bachelor. Inshallah, when we have a control over Laisha, then you can use that, Inshallah. Huh? Uh, or you can say, or we can say, who are uh, Azabun? He is bachelor. You can say, huh? fine. Holokun. Huh? Al Waladu? No, you will have to say Zu. Al Waladu, Zu, Elmen, wa Holokin. Al Waladu, or you can even say Muhammadun Zu Khulakin. Muhammad has good manners. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. In the Alfu, uh, uh, in the Alfudularin. Yes, they're absolutely correct. I have one thousand in the Alfudularin. Very good, Mashallah. Uh, Salim, you want to do it? Ha 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 Ahazihi. See, here your wife is correcting you. <laughs> Masha'Allah. Hazihi <laughs> sa'atu. What will you say? Hazihi sa'atu. This watch. Hazihi sa'atu ghaliyatun. Masha'Allah. That was good, Nusrat. Alhamdulillah. So, you got the idea, brothers and sisters? Zakiyun. Al kalimatul jadidatu. Zakiyun. Jama. Azkiyau sahi, afilau, okay, agniyau, akviyau, fine. Gabiyun, stop it. Same wasan, agbiyau, diptot, agbiyau, mamnumna sarf. Khulukun, everybody knows akhlaq, very common word, akhlaq. Miatun, remember, if it is not mudaf, then it is miatun, and it can become miatan, and it can become miatin. Yes, alfun, alfan, alfin. It can become rubiatun. Of course, ru only country now with uh, rupees is uh, India and Pakistan. Rubiatun, rubiatun, jama monas salim, mutazabijun married. Azabun, bachelor. What is the plural? Azabun, azabun. Yahudiyun, singular. What is plural? Yahudun, eh? yahudun. Okay. Muajamun, dictionary. Maajimu. What is the wazan? Maajimu. Mafailu. Give me another example. Always give the example uh, Masajidu. Very simple to remember. Masajidu is Mafailu. If you see any uh, noun coming on this pattern, you will always be able to point out it is the version of Mafailu. And it is very important uh, pattern, brothers and sisters. Dolarun, Dolaratun. So, brothers and sisters, Dularatun, we won't call it Muannas. It will still be Muzakkar. Huh? Because Dularun is Muzakkar. Are you with me? Safhatun, Safahatun. Najihun, successful. Jama Muzakkar Salim, Naji Huna. Naji Huna. Then Dalin. Are you with me? If you want, put a line, bracket, and write down Gali Atun. Just for you to understand, you know. When it became oneness, the Ya became visible. Sahih, brother? Muhammad? Right. Huh? Just for your information, you write down Galin and then Gali Atun. Both are marfu. Kumun sleeves, brother. Kumun is sleeves. And then. Akmamun, 
Akmamun is your jama. Alhamdulillah, you have we did lesson number one. Now we come to lesson number two in the book. Damirun munfasilun. What did I say? Damirun munfasilun. Detached pronoun. We must practice every now and then. Ready? Hua huma hum. Iya huma hunna. Anta antuma antum. Anti antuma antunna. Ana nahnu. Hua huma hum. Iya huma hunna. Anta antuma antum. Anti antuma antunna. Ana nahnu. One more time. Hua huma hum. Iya huma hunna. Anta antuma antum. Anti antuma antunna. Ana nahnu. Very good, brother and sister. Now, uh, book one is gone, brother and sisters. We must prepare ourselves with more verbs. Huh? And I'm sure you can, you can easily, easily conjugate. Can you conjugate, brother and sisters? Ready? Kara a, kara a, kara u, kara at, kara ata, kara ana, kara ata, kara tuma, kara tum, kara ti, kara tuma, kara tunna, kara tu, kara ana. This sequence, once you master it. Class, brother. Everything will become easy for you. Everything will become easy for you, inshallah. Now, huwa kara ana kara tu. Nahnu kara ana. Hunna kara na. Nahnu kara na. Hunna kara na. Okay? Hum kara u. What will you say? Hum kara u. Hiya kara at. Anta kara ata. Anti kara ati. Antum kara atum. Antunna kara atunna. So inshallah, we will practice. You must get a good handle on it, brother. Fine, brothers and sisters. Another important verb. Sa'ala. Kara means he read. Sala means he asked. Okay, brothers and sisters, he asked. Ready? Sala. Ready? Sala. Sala. Salu. Salat. Salata. Salna. Salta. Saltuma. Salatum. Salti. Saltuma. Saltuna. Saltu. Salna. Masha. Hua sa'ala. Hiya sa'alat. Hiya sa'alat. Hum sa'alu. Hunna sa'alna. Nahnu sa'alna. Anta sa'alta. Anti sa'alti. Antum sa'altum. Antunna sa'altum. Nahnu sa'alna. Ana sa'altu. Inshallah, make it very easy. Fine, brothers and sisters.